So I've got a question, Duran Ryder, why do you think there's so many fully fake people in the raw food world, fake people in the raw food world? And that's a good question. Why is there so many fake people, fully fake, hashtag fully fake people in the raw food world? I would say that I disagree and I agree. That's just society in general. That's just society in general and fake people come into the raw food movement and do their business or whatever and give it a bad rep. So I would say it's just... That's just society in general. That's the way we've been taught is, you know, be all, just be really fake generally. Just full of shit, bullshit. I, I started in retail. I worked in retail and I didn't like it. You walk into a store, like, how you going? What's up? You can tell it's like, they don't give a fuck. They just like, give us your money, fuck off. You know, so it's, I learned from an early age that establish rapport with people. Be genuinely interested versus interested for what they can do for you sort of thing. So I think when you follow your passion and care about something, you can be more genuine, more authentic. But when you're doing something to impress people or your parents or whatever, then that's, I think, where you do things you don't really enjoy and then you just become fake to make yourself enjoy it. I'll put a little video link down below. Uh, Lee, who fasted with Doug Graham and Grant in Costa Rica this year. She almost died. She had a sodium of 109. Her hemoglobin dropped to 7.2, 72. That is, that's it's about that far from heart failure. And she got, she, mum took her to the hospital. So basically, Doug has been telling people and Grant have been telling people that they sent Lee to hospital. And that, uh, anyway, Lee shares the truth again on this uh, whole ordeal. So a lot of people are disappointed in the way Grant and Doug handled this and let this girl almost die just out of sheer arrogance and just money greed. Um, people say, well, that's, you know, how, how do we let that happen? It's like, well, we don't let it happen. We, I speak up about it. I speak up about it. Many, not many, a few pioneers from the Woodstock Fruit Festival have written me uh, confidentially. I can't say who it was. You can probably guess who it was, but they wrote me and said, Harley, I'm really disappointed in how Doug and Grant handled the situation in Costa Rica, but I don't want to make any videos about it because I'm scared that I'll get kicked out of the Woodstock Fruit Festival because Doug's on the, the on the uh, director's board or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's probably going to happen if you're honest because that's what happened to us pretty much. We were getting more and more honest about our thoughts about water fasting and Doug, that's financially for him not a good idea. So, like, see you guys later. Basically, and that's... That's not really cool if people in the raw food world can't really stand up and speak up about serious things like this. This is not like an opinion or whatever. This is like a girl almost died and people aren't allowed to talk about it because if you talk about it and you're Woodstock Fruit Festival pioneer, they'll see you later. So that was that's pretty disappointing. So why is there so many fake people? It's not that... It's just, it's just society in general. When things get run as a business, then you eliminate your competition. That's why myself and Freely... We don't have any competition because we don't have a business. We make YouTube videos, you know, it's not like anyone can do that. We don't have that level of financial pressure or whatever. So someone like Grant who works for Doug, he has to say, yes, Doug, how high, Doug? What, how long, Doug? <laughs> you know, how, should I, <laughs> how hard should I suck, Doug? Because that's, that's his income. You know, so we can't really blame Grant too much. Well, you can because he's an adult, so he has to accept responsibility for his actions. But you got to follow the money. And you got to understand what's going on. Don't be naive. Don't be a naive consumer. The, understand that the world's a fucking cutthroat place. Life's hard. Living's hard. And people will do things for financial reasons. And they'll just fucking steamroll you. Life is cheap. All right? Life's cheap. If you die, there's someone to take your place. We're not here forever. And the raw food world isn't this safe haven. I mean, I used to think it was. I used to think it was was. I was like, oh wow, the raw food world is so cool. Everyone's so loving. But I'll tell you what, in my experience being the raw food movement since 2002, 12 years, almost 13 years, the people that say namaste, no judgment, spirituality, non-violent communication, in general, the more they say it, the more fake they are. The more love and hugs, the more unicorn kisses, love and peaches, the more fake they are in real life. Real situations expose fake people. Real situations expose fake people. So what can we do about it? It's just live and learn. And you can forgive, but don't forget. Don't forget. Because if you forget, then you can make the same mistake twice. So that's why I'll be transparent about it. I'll keep going. Just do something different, Harley. I do stuff different all the time, but 
these questions come up in my inbox and I do videos that the questions the most asked in my inbox from friends or whatever I do questions about it I do videos about that I cover the questions so why is there so many fake people in the world for movement again it's just society in general that's why we try and teach people do what you're passionate about do what you would do every day for free make that your passion make that your profession and don't fucking rip people off don't treat people like a MasterCard number a Visa card number that's wrong when you put profits before people in my book that's wrong put people before profits live a simple lifestyle that you're not trying to sell people bullshit every time or charge crazy amount of money <laughs> people paid eight to ten twelve thousand dollars to lay in bed and drink costa rican tap water and then people pay six thousand dollars to look after the people who paid twelve thousand dollars to drink water it's, it's insane. It's a good business model, though. It's a good business model. If you want to get loaded for whatever reasons, it's a good business model. But it's crazy. So I tell, I, I encourage people, don't lose faith in the raw food movement. It's a, it's a beautiful place. But understand there's sharks and there's fully fake people and there's illegal letters and financial pressures for a lot of these people and they will not behave like real human beings should. So, again, just follow the people who are giving simple advice, who aren't trying to sell your shit bullshit lexes enzymes probiotics and nonsense they're just money sharks that's all they are just money sharks taking advantage of people's trust and uh, desire for health because when you're trying to, when you're sick you feel bad you're almost like i'll do try anything man i want to feel better and these sharks out there i shouldn't even say sharks because sharks are beautiful creatures what's a better word hustlers snake oil sellers you know scammers con artists you know they should they should go and get jobs in florida selling busted up Cadillacs or something to Japanese tourists or whatever who you know tr are trusting as well it's like I had met a Japanese guy one time he was so trusting you know he's like come to Australia and his bike got stolen and he was just like I'm like dude did you lock it I go no like Australia very good I'm like mate they don't give a fuck they'll steal your bike bro you know he lost his bike he just came over from Japan they stole his bike in a couple of days he was at the Tour Down Under he had his bike behind him he was watching the race and he turned around his bike's gone but he was just so trusting. So it's good to be trusting, but also be aware. Listen to our advice. Because there's a lot of snake oils out there. They want your fucking master car. They don't give a fuck about you. Life is cheap in the raw food world. Life's cheap in general. So, bottom line, don't get scammed.